So hey guys here, Bullhorn Betty. Um, we just uh, got a notification from Jonathan Lee Riches. He did a, a video about the Moscow axe throwing. I was a little shocked that they have a Moscow axe throwing building uh, for people. I didn't know that something like this existed. Apparently they can throw knives, they can throw axes. Well, we're here out in front of this location uh, I wonder, you know, could this assailant have come here? Could this assailant had, uh, you know, thrown uh, axes, thrown knives, uh, done, um, you know, some activities like this uh, prior to committing some of the most horrific crimes in this community uh, that has touched the, the world, really? And this is, you know, it makes you just wonder. I'm not saying that anybody in here has done anything wrong by any stretch of the imagination. However, uh, a place like this does exist in this sleepy college town of Moscow, Idaho. And it just makes me wonder, is it possible that somebody had done this? So um, we're just here, just reporting. Again, I don't think anything uh, has come of this, however, you know, we did want to let people know that this does exist out here in Moscow and um, just wanted to let you inform you guys. Oh, hi. <laughs> what brings you guys uh, here? What do you do it? Um, to Moscow? Yeah. No, I mean to my apartment. Oh, no, it was, we just heard a report. We were just watching another YouTuber that's not even from around here yeah. and they happened to bring this up and I'm just like, didn't even know anything like this existed. This oh. is kind of cool be honest with you but in light of everything it just brought us here uh, I made sure I mean, we, that's all we had in the yeah. background we didn't really put any of this yeah. in the background okay. and uh, we were just letting them know that something like this does exist we wanted to know you know the, the possible the guy came here you know? yeah it's um I talked with the homicide detectives and we, oh good for you uh, so they did think about this oh yeah we talked uh well because there was like one sketchy person that you, know. you want to come in for a second do you have a couple free throws for yeah. a little bit hey why not <laughs> All right, guys, so Bullhorn Betty and Chronicles of Olivia are at the Moscow axe throwing business. And I'm kind of excited because, you know, we came here, we were just going to record outside and this lovely gentleman came out and said, hey, you wanna come in and check it out? And I said, yeah, why not? And I asked him if it was okay if we recorded and he said, absolutely. He even brought me a little tripod to set up on. Uh, so we're gonna give this a whirl. So now that we got through our safety instructions, we are going to try. We're going to try to throw an axe. to stick in it yet. So let me go clean that up. We'll try an ax. I'm not gonna do the Ninja Stars, but we will try the ax and then I'm gonna let Olivia play. What do you see about this one? We'll just say that we hit the target several times. I just didn't get to stick in the target. This is actually, to be honest with you, I have to be honest, this is fun stuff. I'm enjoying myself.
She did better than me. Hey, fellas, if you want it, Olivia is officially scaring the crap out of me. really really jealous she made all of her knives I didn't make my knife I didn't even make my um, my, my hatchet Just right there. That's most of my work right now is holding on to this thing. Just holding it, just tighten up where gravity does the rest of the work. I don't let gravity pull out of my hand, but I don't pull, hold it against gravity where Yeah, I'm not gripping too tight. The whole point of this throw is to have as much relaxation as possible to allow for a proper full rotation. That way when I'm like people throw stiff, it doesn't rotate, it's embarrassing. It's like I'm not even good at my job when that happens. So, so this, this is why I do this way. There's a lot of other throws we can do today, a lot of other fun things we can do today. But this is how we're going to start. Then, um, and then, so yeah, I call this the lazy abs. And we just take that guy right back there. So this wrist here, we have uh, this wrist joint behind the shoulder. So you have to have a full hand grip on that? No, I will. Okay. I will. Uh, but uh, it's behind there so it can be nice and easy, right? Nice and relaxed. The more it's on the shoulder, the more I have to pick it up. Both are valid, just not my throw. Okay? That's a different throw. So I take this guy, I'll let these fingers loosely come over, but all I'm really doing is a cinch here. So I'm half on, half off on that pinky. They square up to the line here. The first throw, I'll bring this up. Bam. Bam. Nice, it looks so easy. I gotta honestly tell you guys, if I was like having a stressed day at work, I think this would relieve a lot of stress. I have to be honest with you. I think it would relieve a lot of stress.
and then try and bring that elbow in if you can. And go ahead and do it. There we go. There you go. Again, three tries or less. That was I got close. it. Good job. Okay. One more time. One more time. If I get it this time, you guys better watch out. the knives because she got it on the first try. So this is fun. What you think? That was fun. Thank you so, so much. So we thank you. And again, what is your name? Uh, you just call me Axe. You're in the facility. Axe, and you're with Moscow Axe Throwing. And I have to be honest with you, this wasn't what I expected, but this was actually stress related. Yeah, that's what everyone says. That we're the we're the place to be and the thing to do here in Moscow, that's our job. Yeah. We want it to be fun, which is why I make a little bit of extra time to make sure that you're getting it in. And we still make it in with you with that hatchet. I'd like to keep trying, but that's okay. You gotta go. You, gotta... you wanna try it one more time? Should I? And... Yeah, try yes, one more time. Yes. Try one more time. And then I'll give you your tripod back. Thank you for your hospitality, by the way. This is a beautiful. And just to let you guys see, this is like a pretty cool facility too. Yeah, we try to keep it feel Nice and clean. Um, Lots of nice, uh, nice people. We made a lot of mess. You don't need it too strong. But you have a nice, just, it's more about speed, right? It's not too much speed. More speed, speed. You don't even need to do that. It's just nice and relaxed. critiquing stuff and she's got it congratulations olivia she got three blades and one hatchet in bullhorn betty one well one and a half hatchets that's it all right guys god bless we had a great time here thank you axe